back to Lime Street. <laughs> Early start again this morning, 6 o'clock guys, so welcome back to the vlog once again. Today is now Wednesday morning, one second. If you haven't saw yesterday's vlog, the link first in the description below. Or if you haven't saw last night's match today video, the link that's in the description below as well, where Liverpool took on Ghent in the Champions League. So, early start this morning. Not as tired as what it was last time we did on this trip. But, one second. So, I had a pretty good sleep last night. It's in bed reasonably early, so... But, yep. Yeah, about... 25... minutes to go. Until my train arrives. I head off to Manchester to get a flight home this morning, which is 20 to 9 this morning, so looking forward to getting home to see the kiddies because I missed the kiddies last night, so yeah, not too bad this morning, so yeah, standing here in the Lime Street station as you can see, getting ready to head home, shattered, I'm not as tired, but I am shattered, but that bed last night was really comfortable in that uh, B&B, definitely recommend staying there guys. But anyway, yes, I want to go here now and finish off my coffee. It just has a cool Christmas cup. <laughs> it's quite cool, actually. And I head on the train here, so let's get this travelling home vlog started. Oh, I'd be glad to get back home. So, well, so, yeah. But it's, it's freezing this morning, too, which doesn't help. So, anyway, guys, let's get out of the road here now and get on the train here and head to Manchester Airport. And let's get this, what I suppose I choose to do there, Wednesday's vlog started.
I need back in Belfast after a whole big kerfuffle at the airport, which I'll explain to you more when I get home later. What an absolute disaster. Almost nearly missed my flight back to Belfast too, over some lady who was just being so silly, pernickety, picky, irritating, and she, a lot of people nearly uh, missed her flights because of her. But I'm now here at Great Victoria Street, getting the train back to Bangor. And then I'm going to go up later on and pick up the wee man. I'll try and get a chance to even do a bit of vlogging on the train here to explain to you what happened at the airport. What an absolute disaster. Trust me. Immediately, I'll tell you the story. It was just, oh, drove you. Just, the woman was just an absolute nightmare, so she was. But anyway, as you can see here at the train station, my train is just about to pull in here now. Heading back to Bangor here to get ready. We'll get the wee man later on today, so yeah. Disaster at the airport today, like seriously. Unbelievable. I'll explain more later on, guys. Well, I'm finally home after a long day of travelling, guys. Um, I'm going to get around and finish off this vlog right now. What a day. I'll tell you the story. Long story short, I'm going to sit down with a wee thing I have here in the room, a wee bench thing to talk to you. Um, what happened was, yeah, <laughs> what a disaster. I got to the airport. I then went to the security. Now, you know yourselves, guys, if you've ever flown on a plane before, obviously check your bags for different things. Um, you know, you put your toilet in the wee separate white bag, clear see-through bag, you put your electronic devices in a different box, and all these different things that you do. And got to the airport today, um, took my laptop out, my phone, took my belt off, all my money, my mobile phone, everything all in one box, which was sweet. It went through the security, no problem at all. Now, you know yourselves, whenever you go through security, they find something, they want to look through your bag, just to double check, they put the box off to the side, so somebody else can come along and look at it. Now, when I got there, there was like four people in front of me, the security was quite quiet because it was, what was it, like flipping quarter eight in the morning or something like that, whatever it was. Um, so I went through, put my two big uh, plastic containers through the security. First one came through, no problem, which was the one with the laptop and the phone and the belt and the money and everything else was grand. My watch and things like that. Um, came to the second one where my actual bag was in it. Now I actually forgot to put... I bought a little thing in one of the little department stores where I never pull a little mini shower gel thing for the use in the hotel because I actually forgot to bring shower gel in my wee thing that I put all my toiletries into. That was my fault. Obviously, the bag wouldn't stop because I wanted to double check it, which is completely understandable. But as I was going through security, a load of people had just come through the gate. Now, a lot of people come through the gate. They must have been going for a couple of different flights, whatever it was. So it started getting a little bit busy. Now, not extremely busy, but busy enough. Now, Normal circumstances, you know yourself, you would have maybe one, two, three, four people that are doing this checks of the bags instead of one because obviously there's so many people going through. People need to get through to go to their flights and stuff like that. And my flight departed at 20 to 9. This was about quarter to 8. I remember talking to a guy who was also getting on the Belfast flight. He told me it was quarter to 8. Or quarter to, was it quarter to 8? Yeah, quarter to 8 in the morning. So it was, my flight was 20 to 9. So that gave me a good, what, 50 odd minutes to get through the security get down to the gate and get in obviously because it was the first gate as you went through the security so it was handy enough what a palaver this lady had one person one person doing the checks of the bags and what they were doing was they were putting them all through and they were lining them all up individually but when were, there was more coming through they were moving them in front of other people who bags and stuff was already sitting there to be checked so it was like a whole big mess up this woman honest to god guys it was absolutely insane a snail would have worked quicker. Honestly, she was so slow. Opening bags, dead slow. And she spoke like this. Did you pack your bag yourself today? And I'm like... and every, There was a lot of people getting frustrated. Like, really frustrated. I was in security for, what, a good 40 minutes? Before she even looked at my bag. Well, not even 40. Nearly 40 minutes before she looked at my bag. And... She went away, and here's the thing. Now, I'll show you this. It's still here in my, I think it's still in here. I'll just double check here. I think I may have took it out, actually. Or did it? Yeah, it did. We plast plastic C2 bag, um, you put your toilets into. She was taking them over and like changing the bag when she didn't need to. Blowing air from some new machine into the bag. Then she was talking really slow and she was back and forward and she brought this big stick over and put like a baby wipe on the end of it and she's wiping the bag like this dead slow. Guys behind me were getting really cheesed off and one of them actually turned around and said to her, you know, seriously, our flight leaves in, ten, in like 15 minutes. Do you want to get your finger out here? Like, honestly, is there any more staff on here? Nobody else there. There was other people standing who worked, does the same job as her, standing in the corner at the far side, watching 
things going on and not even helping to try and get people through the security quicker to get them onto their flights. Now, a lot of people were getting a little bit cheesed off with this. I mean, like really cheesed off, really getting frustrated, really getting angry. And one guy at one point came over and said, listen, this is an absolute, no, I don't want to repeat what he said, joke. Um, we're going to miss our flight. So finally, finally, after all that crap and palaver, we'll finally get through security. I had to run through the airport, like Linford Christie, the Olympic runner, or Mo Farah, whatever you want to call the Olympic runner, the name of that. literally carrying my bag, I'm running through the airport, like a bat out of hell to get the gate, was it three? I think it was gate three I was going to. The other guy who was on the flight as well, the guy who originally asked the time for, he was then like not too far from behind me because he was on the verge of cracking up too as well. We finally got through security, all the way up to the gate to be told by the girl at the gate that the gate was closed. Now, at this point, obviously, I was a little bit frustrated, angry, upset, PO'd, as in paid, paid off. Said to the girl, listen, we've been standing security, it's not our fault, etc, etc. Explain the circumstances for her. God love her. Easy, easy jet staff were fantastic, guys. They literally closed the gate, and the last person was on the plane for what they were aware of. She took it upon herself to take the initiative to go and run and grab another guy who she sent out to the runway to go out to the plane before just before they were about to take the steps away to get the, the stop. So he could run up those steps and literally as they're about to close the door. Ask me and this other guy who just arrived when I was talking to him, could we get on the plane? And the EasyJet staff were fantastic and they stopped what they were doing. They asked the guys not to move the steps. They came back down and told us we could get on the plane. So literally we had to run she came up, took her boarding pass, and we run the whole way through, and it was just a whole big palaver. But the easy jet staff were it was so funny though because when the girl was scanning the boarding passes, she even turned around to me said to me and the guy before we got on the plane was then she described the the girl who was doing the checks to a T. And I was like, Yeah, it's her, and she went, Why is she still employed? That's the words that she used, and I was like, Oh my good god. So uh, all the airlines must know who this woman is because she's just an absolute disaster. And whenever we were getting on the flight as well, um, went through on the on the main door, the one of the plane, apologised to the staff, explained to them, and the same person, the one of the or who or who this said the same thing. So she must be well known in Manchester Airport for being an absolute nightmare. But I want to take this opportunity to thank the EasyJet staff for being so cool about it. You'll see the conversation I have with them on my Twitter feed, guys, and obviously the, the conversation with Manchester Airport as well. What a whole big uh, mess up. I mean, I was there in plenty of time. You know, arrived at the airport literally about an hour and 25 minutes before my flight. And it was just a whole big kerfuffle. And then when I finally got there, I gave myself plenty of time to get through security and get to the gate. And that lady was just a nightmare. I, me and that other guy who were on that flight to the Belfast wasn't the only people, the only people who were pissed off with her. Sorry for saying that word, P.L. But there was other people there about like, going to the likes of, I don't know whether we're going to, I think one person were going to Malacca or maybe or something like that in Spain. And there was other people going to different places. And they were cracking on her like she was so slow. And you think they would have more than one member of staff on, but they didn't. So, what a palava. But I got there in the end. And as you probably saw when I was at Great Victoria Street earlier on, I wasn't best pleased. But I finally get home, guys. And I've settled down. And I'm just, I'm glad to be home. So, I went back to Manchester Airport at the end of the month of Lewis. And I really do hope that there's not a whole big kerfuffle again. It's just an absolute nightmare. But I'm home. What a long day. <laughs> Hence why today's vlog is called, uh, what was I going to call it again? Held up at Manchester Airport. Whatever it was going to call it. I can't remember the name. I was going to call the vlog today. It obviously, the name of it's nigh on the bottom of the description. So I'm home. Thank goodness. And that is going to bring us to the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm not even going to put this vlog up. I'm going to put it up in the morning, guys, because I'm just I'm done. And my battery's about to die on my camera, and I better go. So if you enjoyed this vlog today, guys, we're traveled home from Liverpool through Manchester, back home. Smack a like in this video. Also, hit subscribe below. Thanks once again to EasyJet staff. You're awesome, guys. I'll be using these in the future again. Well, I'm using these in the end of November, but all my flights will be EasyJet. Really, really cool staff. And thank you to all the EasyJet staff who spoke to me on social media today. Really nice people. And even sent me a private mail as well, apologizing. So, EasyJet, awesome. Thank you very much for all your uh, support today. So, until tomorrow, guys, bright and early. Well, I'll try and get a vlog done tomorrow, guys. I'm actually out all day tomorrow, so I might not get a vlog done, but I'll try my best to get one done. But So, until the next one, guys, I will see you all soon. I'm going to go here and get showered, changed, and get ready to go to bed. I am shattered. Until tomorrow, guys, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.